he and other gay teens who kill themselves die because they've adopted, in your words, an unhealthy lifestyle. It's vital to talk about sexuality in schools because the bullies sure do. appears to be a recent epidemic of kids killing themselves after being bullied. Bullying is something that contributes hugely to the number of kids who drop out, who don't finish school, who don't do as well as in school as they could because they're afraid when they're there. Um, it prevents there being an atmosphere of trust that people need in order to learn. Conservative groups saying all this talk of anti-bullying programs in school is really just a way to spread what they call a gay agenda. I think, I think in, a, in a greater perspective too, um, I think it inhibits our ability as a society to, to progress. You know, to uh, our ability to celebrate the individual, to understand the individual, to not, you know, stereotype. We've been working with schools to try to get them to be explicit in their anti-bullying policies about that policies including sexual orientation and gender identity as well. Um, because often schools will have the position, well, we have a zero tolerance on bullying anyway, right? So it's not a, a problem or, or that the policies we already have will deal with it. But I think it's important to explicitly state that in the policies because if you state things like you know race, ethnicity, language, nationality, it's it's making a statement that these are not you know reasons to discriminate against people. So I think it's important to put sexual orientation and gender identity in there too because it's a way for the school to say we don't accept discrimination on those on those bases. downtown El Paso in the gay districts, or quote unquote in the gay clubs, to get a grassroots idea of what people believe bullying to be and what they believe should be done about it. To be bullying? Yes. Uh, abuse of another person because of their sexual orientation, color, ethnic background, etc. Anything that you wouldn't say to your mom, you really shouldn't say to anybody else. If it makes somebody uncomfortable, or if you feel like you're saying something that's condescending or demeaning, it really shouldn't get said whether you're playing or you're being serious. A lot of times, people can play that way and it doesn't come off to the other person because it's about something real that will hurt them whether they're playing or not. Bullying can have a variety of forms. Bullying can be verbal. Bullying can be physical. Bullying can be a variety of, of negative behavior targeted toward one. Well, people will, are kind of judgmental about their physical appearance and everything. Um, they're not a lot very considerate about um, people's personalities and uh, the other things that they have to offer past clothes and body. Um, that's one big thing that I've noticed amongst the community. Oh yeah, of course. Of course. If you're in a price square, I'll put you in a bed before you see something like that. You know, have you ever experienced anything like that in your lifetime? I've never slowed down enough to notice it, but I'm sure I've been victimized. I just never really realized it. Yes, I was bullied um, on more than one occasion uh, growing up high school, college. How did that affect you today? It made me stronger. It made me stronger the day after the event occurred. You wanna know? So it's finding those those uh, labels that that society should be.
more lenient and a little more educated as to, because everybody has a gay member in the family, everybody has a drug user, everybody has all these things. Not that they're in the same category, I'm just saying people need to just ease up. You know, sure. whether it's through religion, whether it's whatever, find your focus and, and stop victimizing. It's not necessary. It's, a, it's not necessary. That's what I think. Do you believe uh, legislation should be geared more towards sexuality and preferences, or do you believe that the laws we have protecting people against intimidation and assault are sufficient? Um, I don't believe they should be geared directly towards sexuality because there are many other things that people can get bullied for. I do not feel that they are made to protect people from that either. Uh, I think there's a big difference due to the fact that in Europe, people are more understanding, more acceptable of their sexuality than in the United States. Um, so I think there needs to be a general scope. There needs to be a more broad spectrum as far as what's considered bullying and what makes people uncomfortable and what is acceptable and what isn't.